Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So are you wondering why I'm outside in my bike yard? So today is, I'm going to show you a very, very interesting effect in Femur and I, uh, or maybe in the other video editor. You can use any other video editor to create this effect similar, it's similar. So this effect is super sweet effect, or maybe flash effect or something like that. So in order to create this effect, you need two things. First, filming and second editing okay so that's simple right so the first thing uh, when you want to create this effect is that you need to use a tripod you put put your camera on a tripod like this and then you film your yourself or your character run like this okay let me do it now i'm going to run from here to over there at the end at the end of the uh, the backyard okay and remember be sure that nothing in the background is moving because we're going to uh, fast forward uh, the video. So if something is moving inside the, inside the frame, then uh, it doesn't work. Okay, so let's run. Okay, I think it's fine up. Can you hear me now? Now I'm going to run from here to there. So we're also super speed. I will run from here to the camera. Amazing, right? Okay, so that is just about filming. And now we go to the software and into Filmora. I will show you how to edit this effect. Let's go. A few moments later. Why oh, I'm here? Ah, I remember. Before I go back to my studio, let's talk about today's sponsor. Thank you. Thank you, Active Presenter, for sponsoring this video. You know that Active Presenter is a software that I use all the time for many years. I've been using it to create my, my online tutorial, my software simulation and also my e-learning courses. So Active Presenter is very powerful. It is an only-one screen decoder, video editor and e-learning authoring software. The good thing is you can use it free. If you want to export a video in MP4 and AVI format to upload to YouTube, you can use it completely free for personal use. Of course, they have different license, standard license, uh, which is uh, 199 uh, US dollar per lifetime, and this, uh, the pro version is 399 US dollar per, per lifetime. Yeah, but you don't need to, to purchase uh, this license if you just use active if you just use Active Presenter for personal. So check out the link I put in the description about this software. Download and try it for free, 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 free. Let's go to the studio and create our effect today. <gasps> okay, so I'm back to my studio. And now let's go into Filmora now. So in Filmora, I want to create an example video for uploading to YouTube. So at the aspect ratio, I choose 16 by 9. And let's create a new project. It's blind project. Now we need to import our footage into Filmora. Let's uh, find it on my computer. Here I already copied and copy the, the footage from my camera to, to, the, to my computer and this is a file I'm going to use. So just drag and drop it into Filmora. Let's do it right here. Okay and here we need the footage so let's preview it. Double click to preview it on the timeline. Hi guys, hi. Okay, this part is the introduction of this uh, tutorial. So we, we are going to skip that. And until I start running. Okay, from here to there. Not that, no, no, okay. So now we start from here. So let's press I, I on your keyboard to set an end point. And then we go to here. No, not this. Oh, I'm still running. To here, yes. 
let's say victory or uh, something like that so let's press O on your keyboard to set an out point all right so let's drag and drop it onto the timeline so we select 24 frames per second met to media and let's trade out the timeline with this button okay then of course we don't need the audio just we we can design the audio later and we add sound effect later so just mute the audio of the clip All right mute and let's play it okay when i start running then split the clip uh, here right here split you can press ctrl b on your keyboard to split the clip and let's move it forward over all right here is a part so let's split it here and moving forward and start running split and let's play it okay I stop running split something wrong with the femora it is not responding because I'm running too many program here so we can just find the, the spot I want to split again right here okay here we can split press ctrl B and then we continue I start to run okay and split all right so we finished finish splitting our clip into part so that's go to the uh, the second step so the second step we need to speed up at the at the portion where I run okay and other part just remain normal and here this one all right so we start running from here so we need to increase the speed and in my opinion I think it's eight time is uh, work perfect for me but now you can choose 10 time 12 time or whatever you want okay so in order to change the speed in uh, in the video there's two ways to do just press uh, select the clip press ctrl r on your keyboard to bring down the to uh, uh, bring up the, the speed control uh, windows and let's say eight time right here eight mean eight time so eight time and let's be sure to check the ripple edit and then click ok all right so it just split to the uh, just move slide to the left and let's see the effect Ooh. okay so this part we don't need to speed up and this part I start running and speed up again and the second choice uh, the second option uh, second second option you can use to increase the speed in Fimura 9 is to click on the speed button right here here we have the speed button let's click on that and select fast and select eight times right and okay let's move forward this part so just sit there so I'm just uh, standing there talking something so not running yet let's come to the second part okay this part fast forward press this button fast eight times okay and now this is where I stop and it is fast forward and another option to, to increase the speed in Fimura 9 press and hold your control key on your keyboard and then move your mouse cursor to the left to the edge of the clip on the timeline and press and then slide to the left and now we have the option six time and you see the number right and continue to eight time okay right here okay eight time and that is another option to increase the speed in Fimura 9 and let's select this and ripple delete okay and here I'm talking something and let's hear what I'm talking on the in the video okay I think it's fine enough fine enough can you hear me now can you hear me now of course I can hear me okay so we don't need to speed up that but this part is speeding, speeding up and let's say uh, also another option right click select speed and duration here at the pop-up menu so there are four ways to you can use to uh, increase or change the speed uh, of the your video in Fimura 9 and let's say eight time 
Remember to check the ripple edit and click OK. And now we finished the, the second step. And now we get, we need to preview. Uh, so what we have just uh, create, created, created. Alright, so it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit choppy, but uh, I will show you the result later at the end of the video, or maybe at the beginning of the tutorial. So the third step we need to do is to add motion blur to the uh, speed uh, fast forward uh, section in the video, because if we just simply fast forward the video, it's uh, it's look fake, it's not real, so that is not the the effect we want. Okay, so let's straight out the timeline. Right here so we need to add motion blur to this this part this part and this this and this okay let's go to the effect and go to included then search for blur blur okay we have blur here or we have also uh, some other square blur bokeh blur blur 2 so select any effect is your choice okay but uh, now I'm going to uh, go with blur, simple, basic blur. Let's drag and drop it right here. Then just shorten it. Just uh, fix with the with the the area where we speed up the clip. Uh, let's preview it. Uh, let's uh, render the timeline first so it's smooth, so you can see the you know, the video better. Okay. Then here we go. Ooh, it's too fake. <laughs> but don't worry, we can double click on the blur effect. Then we need to adjust a little bit. So face increase increment, okay. And zoom rate, we can reduce it to one. I think one is okay. And alpha, we reduce alpha to 50. And you can also type directly here, 50. Okay, and let's render the timeline again. And here's the effect that we create. So let's preview it. Okay, I think it's fine enough. Can you hear me now? Now I'm going to run from here to there. So we're also super, so we're also super speed. I will run from here. <laughs> it's so funny. So the preview is fine for me. So the final step we need to do is to add sound effect to the video. And sound effect, if you want my complete sound effect, just go to the link in the description. I put a link here, uh, there, over there to download my complete uh, sound effect package so you can use it and in this in this case we can use shoes whoosh, whoosh. so that's easy right and let's go to find my sound effect here oh no this is uh, in Fimora and we have have here swoosh and this one Ooh. Ooh, no no way oh, no way Ooh, I think it's good. This one. Yes, I love this one. Shoes number four. Okay, so let's just drag and drop it under the effect, uh, under the uh, speed up, speed up part. Uh, let's preview it first. Let's turn it on and preview. Ooh, nice. And here we need another one. And another one right here. Another one right here. And finally, another one right here. Let's review.
Wow. So that is basically how you can reduce. Uh, you can produce uh, speed if I go super speed if I can feel more and I. And actually, we need to do some more thing, but that is the polishing uh, step in my video and example. So you should do it also. For example, you need to figure figure out what the sound levels uh, in the sound design, and you also need to add music to your video and just some more some more thing. And before you export it to final uh, result, and go to export, it's easy, right? Alright, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video like this. Goodbye, and see you again. Doesn't work, okay? So let's run. Okay. I think it's fine enough. Can you hear me now? Now I'm going to run from here to there. So we're also super speed. I will run from here to the camera.